to very good days cricket here at Trentbridge in this third Cornhill Test match and coverage of the third day's play will be in grandstand commencing at 10.55. <laughs> out here with those three lions you know it was a marvelous thing in front of your own crowd and your own public and uh, oh, I'll never forget that day really Randall made an immediate impact on international cricket his first match was in the Prudential Trophy against the West Indies at Lords in 1976 when his aggressive strokes and boyish looks made him an instant hit with the cricketing public that's it Derek Randall 50 he finished with 88 and a place on the winter tour to India and then on to the centenary test in Melbourne where Randall's 174 earned him his own unique place in cricket history. It was very exciting you know, meeting Harold Larwood and Don Bradman and people like this and uh, uh, actually walking out of Melbourne in front of 100,000 uh, people was, uh, was, was really marvellous. Uh. And a wonderful innings, of course. It's yeah, I remember uh, the wicket panned out pretty flat, and uh, you, you, everybody has one of these days. And it's one of those days where the very first ball you time it away and you feel good, and uh, that was one of those days for me. And uh, uh, it's just a pity we couldn't go on and, uh, uh, and win the game. I remember I was at school during that centenary test and listening to the radio under my pillow in the dormitory, crackling away the commentary was from there. The great contest between you and Dennis Lilly. It was. It was. I mean, he's one of those bowlers that uh, a 100% effort never gives in. The field this time, and really shouting that field. Here's the play acting. Oh, thank you very much, he says. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Friendly game of cricket. It's a very competitive type of bowling. They try anything to get you out, you know. And uh, uh, but, but on that day, I, I was up to it, and uh, that's probably one of the best things I've ever played. I think. So was Dennis Lilly the best fast bowler you ever faced? Well, certainly the biggest heart had uh, he could bowl under any conditions, but the fellow would never give in. He had mag a magnificent heart, and uh, uh, that was his, his biggest uh, attribute, really. Uh, Michael Holding was the quickest bowler I've ever faced, silent death. Uh, I remember he hit me in the mouth in Tasmania, uh, taken to hospital for a week, and he sent me a lovely photograph with best wishes Michael Holding on it, which was uh, quite nice, really. <laughs> but I think uh, probably the best bowler I ever faced was uh, Bisham Beatty, left arm spinner. And uh, uh, I remember I, I made my debut at Calcutta and I batted for two and a half hours blood and guts playing for England and uh, eventually I was caught slip for three, which wasn't a lot of good really. So I thought second innings, uh, play positive. And Beatty was on again and I, I got caught long off for two, which not a lot of good really. But uh, uh, I spoke to Tony Gregg, who was captain of the side and uh, a magnificent captain, you know, very courageous type of captain, set a marvellous example. He said, what you've got to do is you've got to use your feet, get down the wicket. And they picked me for the next test match at... Uh, Oh, it's Bombay. Bailey's on again. And I, I used my feet. I remember I fell head over heels and I was stumped for noughts. Not the most dignified exit, perhaps, but nothing compared to his downfall at Trent Bridge that summer. Jeff Boycott, in his first test match after three years of self-imposed exile, ran out the local hero. It was a desperate moment and the lowest point of Boycott's career. For him to go on and score 100, I mean, I've run a few people out, and he puts a heck of a lot of pressure on you. And for him to go on and score that 100 was a, a marvellous performance. And we actually went on and won the test match, and boycott, I remember, uh, uh, let me hit the winning hit, which was absolutely marvellous. I mean, I got him back in, uh, in Pakistan, I remember, uh, on a flat wicket in Pakistan. He said to me, he was 70 not out, he said, look, he said, I'll beat Gary Sober's record today, 365. Well, I ran him out the next over, so he wasn't very happy about that either, you know. Runouts featured regularly, but more often than not, they were members of the opposition, as Randall established himself as the greatest fielder in the world. Similar sort of delivery of hits. It's close. It must be out. Yes, he's gone. And Randall's done it again. It's absolutely incredible. got into sides if I've been on equal uh, footing with uh, say uh, Graham Barl who's still a magnificent fielder as well but uh, it's always helped me that little bit uh, throughout my career I'm sure. At his best he was the best he's quick he's agile and the number of when I first saw him field when I was playing at Leicester he was playing at Notts and he'd see just the ground he covered the distance he covered quickly 
And the number of times he hit the stumps, I and mean, we, we all heard about, say, the legendary Colin Bland. Well, Derek, at his best, was up there with the best and compares with anyone. Very quick, very agile, very accurate. It's in the air again. What a magnificent catch! That man, Derek Randall. They gave him catch of the World Series in one day, and it was just an unbelievable catch, so acrobatic. Um, he's fantastic. There are a lot of good fielders around, but I don't think any with his all-round abilities. In his 22 years, Randall has won all four domestic trophies with Nottinghamshire, but is probably best remembered for his glorious failure in the 1985 NatWest final. Leading 18 to win off the last over, he scored 16 off the first five deliveries, bowled by his old mate Derek Pringle. So, two to win off one ball. In the last ball, I thought, well, you know, played all my cards here, what am I going to do? I'll sort of get it more leg side. And he went away again to the square leg, and I cramped him up this time, and he just got a bat on it, and he spooned it to mid wicket. Look at the yard's other side of mid wicket, and it was in four, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't to be on that day, was it? Not to be. Did Derek Pringle say anything to you during the course of that over when you were? Lashing him all around the ground, trying to win the game. Was there any eye contact? Well, it's there? the first time in his life he's actually been speech, speechless. But uh, 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 there was a lot of eye contact, yeah. And uh, uh, obviously he was very relieved to, to get the wicket off the last ball. And certainly Keith Fletcher was. Yeah. Well, you've given a lot of people a lot of laughs over the 20 years. Was that always something you intended to do, to be something more than simply another batsman or another fielder? I remember as a young boy going down to workshop, Notts, Yorkshire, and uh, uh, there was a Yorkshire fielder in front, uh, in front of me on the, the third man boundary, and for about six hours he fielded there, and never, never showed any emotion, never turned around and said hello to the crowd or, or that type of thing. I thought, well, if I ever make a professional cricketer, I'm not going to be like that. Uh, I've probably gone a little bit over the top doing cartwheels and, uh, and throwing oranges to the Indian crowd and that type of thing, but uh, I do feel it's very important to uh, to give a little bit more back to um, the people watching. It's good of them to come there and, uh, and watch you perform your art, and uh, uh, I've always tried to, to do that, really. Well, what will mm. Trent Bridge be like without Tell Derek me. Randall and this fantastic brand of entertainment? Um, you might have seen a very forlorn Jeffrey Boycott in that uh, short film. <laughs> what are you smiling at? You just ran the poor boy out. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I loved him, actually. I, I roomed with him on tour sometimes and used to go out at night socially with him. And he's just a funny, lovable guy. I mean, uh, he really is. He's a smashing fella. Some of the highlights of the third day's play of this corner.